Well, the city of Concord just announced that it will be opening cooling centers and extending hours here at the Spray Park from tomorrow through Thursday. These kids make the heat look like a lot of fun, but the truth is this is a dangerous heat wave, bringing triple-digit temperatures that could linger for days. I don't like it. It frustrates me. Like, it gets me mad. People who live in Concord are used to hot summers, but a heat wave with temperatures expected to soar to 110 degrees has everyone looking for a way to cool off. We found families getting wet at the Meadow Home Spray Park. Giselle Morris says her baby has the hardest time with the heat. She has to give her several cool baths a day just to keep her body temperature down. And my baby, she's small, and so I guess she gets frustrated too. So she kept on crying and crying, so I took her out to the park yesterday. In Solano County, the city of Benicia plans to use its library as a cooling center. It's very unusual for Benicia to hit temperatures over 100. City manager Lori Tinfo says a lot of homes don't have air conditioning. The library will stay open late through the Labor Day weekend. The library, we've taken steps to have a backup for power, too, just in case we lose it. Because last weekend, you might be aware that we did suffer some power outages. There's always a concern about fire danger. But Contra Costa Fire Marshal Robert Marshall says on super hot days, they tend to see more drownings and heat-related illnesses. The uh, heat wave that we had a couple days ago, we had a lot of people suffering from some heat-related emergencies, heat stroke, heat frustration, uh, things like that. His best advice, stay inside and drink plenty of water. Valerie Seaford has lived in the Bay Area more than 50 years. This weekend? I'm leaving town, going to Bodega Bay. I feel sorry for everybody staying in town. Meanwhile, kids are back in school. The Mount Diablo Unified School District did put together a hot weather plan to prepare. This includes canceling outdoor PE classes and keeping extra water on hand. All classrooms are air conditioned, but some multi-use rooms are not. Alyssa Harrington, ABC 7 News.